our God. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to hear that and say, whatever you're going through, whatever the situation is, nothing is greater and nothing can stand against us when we stand with him. Amen? Amen. Amen. On Tuesday night, I was asking the Lord, the Lord kind of told me what to talk about, but sometimes, you know, you kind of say, well, God, maybe it might be something else. And as I was walking through the door, Brother Hector, I was a little bit late, and he was talking about victory. And yes. that's what the Lord had told me to speak of, so it was confirmation. And if God is confirming that this is a season of victory, then we ought to learn how to walk in the season of victory. Yes. This is a season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to celebrate it. This is a season of victory. This is a season of of victory. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to declare it. Somebody ought to declare it out of your mouth that this is the season of victory. Declare it out of your mouth with me. This is the season of victory. This is the season of victory. This is the season of victory. Now let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. 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 
Thank you, Jesus. I don't think everybody believes that. But if you get that in your spirit and you leave this place today and say that this is my season of victory. Amen. Amen. The breakthrough that you've been waiting for. The thing that God, that you've been wanting God to do. This is your season of victory. Amen. Amen. Anything can happen in the season of victory. Scholarship can be released. Healings can take place. Hallelujah. You can start businesses when you don't even have the money because God has given you favor. This is the season of victory. This is the season when you need to step out. This is the season of victory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 The season of victory. The season of victory. Amen. Hallelujah. If somebody catches it, hallelujah, it's worth it. If somebody catches it, it's worth it. Hallelujah. If somebody gets it, if somebody receives the revelation, it's worth it. Hallelujah. If somebody receives the revelation, it's worth it. Hallelujah. The thing that you've been praying for, the thing that you've been seeking for, the thing that you've been laboring for, God is saying that this is the time of victory and for you to walk in the victory. Hallelujah. about his identity. He didn't know who he was. 
And God is speaking to you today about who you really are. He was in a situation, but who God said he was wasn't the same person that was in the situation. An angel shows up and calls him a mighty man of valor, a warrior, but yet he was in a bad situation. He was bound. He talks to him about his identity. He, he, he speaks to him for what God had put inside of him of who he was really supposed to be. God is speaking to you today about what's inside of you. He created you. He wants you to have confidence in yourself. Not arrogant, but have confidence in yourself because he put the gift inside of you. So you have the right to be confident because God put the gift inside of you. Yeah. But you don't have to be arrogant about it. Amen. Then number two, about building up your altar. The first thing he did, he built up an altar. He built up his relationship with God. He built an altar. He began to worship God. He began to praise God. He built an altar to connect back with God. And then he told him to tear down all the idols. All the idols of Baal. Examine yourself. Examine yourself. And say, Lord, is this an idol in my life? In these things that I'm doing, is this an idol? And some of us are prideful, and we don't even see it. But please, re-examine yourself. And say, Lord, is this an idol? Because, Lord, am I, am I putting this before you? Do I put more money into this? Do I, do I put more time and focus into this? Tear down the idols. There are so many idols and distractions nowadays that it got everybody going a million different directions. A million different directions. And the, and, and the idolatry is getting so much worse. And it's, and it's, and it's coming into the church. So I rebuke that spirit of idolatry in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke that spirit of idolatry in the name of Jesus. Then the next thing. The next thing. He went through um, when he put the fleece out. And God confirmed. God confirmed that I'm with you. God will give you confirmation that I'm with you. God will show you that I'm with you. I'm with you always. But the problem is we get confirmation and we get stuck just in the confirmation. We don't move past I got confirmation. But after you get confirmation, God is causing you to move into action. He's causing you to move into action. And sometimes with Gideon, he had, they said he had 32,000 men, went down to 10,000, went down to 300. They were fighting 135,000 men. And God said, I don't want 32 or 10 because then you're going to say you did it. I'm going to prove that I'm God. You might not have a dime in your account. You might have a negative account. But, you, but God is telling you to start a business. You might not know how to, to read or speak in front of people. But God is telling you to go out and minister. God is telling you to step out. And matter of fact, you might not even have enough or anything. God is saying, I don't need the 32,000. Yes. I can take 300 men and I can defeat 132 or 35,000 men. Amen. Last point, walk in victory. Walk in the victory that God has already spoken into you. Walk in the victory that God has already said who you are. Your identity of what he said. Walk in that victory. He's already gave you an identity. In the verse, um, I don't have the verse right here, but he says, uh, uh, Gideon's complaining. And he's saying, God, well, what am I supposed to do about, about the Midianites? And, he, and it said, the Lord looked at him and said, go. He looked at him and said, go. God is looking at you. You're complaining. God is saying, go. I've given you everything that you need. Just go. I've given I already equipped you. It's time to go and to step out into what God has for you to do. We're coming to the end of the year. We're about to step into 2021, Lord willing. And it's time for us to go to the next level. From this day forward, let's not be the same. But let us walk in victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you.